Yo, this is Alex Mal for Destiny, and I welcome you to my Riders of Icarus review. So, as a former WoW player, I can give you some insane feedback, because I have a lot of experience with MMORPGs. You know, I, I stopped playing during the Cataclysm time, so level 85, I was a Warden Druid, I also had a bunch of level 80s in Wrath of Lich King. So, I'm a big MMO guy, i played all my entire life since I was a little boy, so I can review this game for you very easily. Now, right off the bat, uh, this is only a beta, but we're nearing the end of the beta now, so I feel I can give you some good feedback here. This is the second character that I've created from a different world. So, one of the main problems is that the game is buggy as shit. Okay, it's not refined, it didn't polish it, just like a lot of these other betas that are coming out now. So, as you can clearly observe, I am unable to see my character. Lots of other lifters, not lifters, lots of other people have been reporting the same issue. So, if I go to a new character, right, you'll recognize that it's a game issue, not a graphic driver issue. You cannot see the characters. If I click on one, you can see the auras, but not the characters. That's pretty fucked up, yeah, if you ask me. If I go create, <laughs> you can see all the options. Look at that. I can see the presets, but no character appears. So, again, this game is buggy. It did not fix that in the beta, which is really fucked up. I'm surprised. And uh, that's going to lose some points, man. So let's dive into the gameplay itself. I'm going to start the game for you, and we'll get right to it. Give me a second. All right, guys, so we just spawned, and now I'm going to give you another game. So number one, first thing you notice, very nice graphics. Definitely looks pretty freaking good for a mineral RPG. But if you know anything about games, graphics are not supposed to dictate how well it plays. And in this particular game, well, let's talk about it. See this copper right here? I'm going to mine this bitch. Does that look familiar? Yeah, just like that there. Every, just like every other MMORPG. Look at this. Does that not look like World of Warcraft? In fact, how about we talk about the hotkeys? I opens up my inventory. K opens up the skills. O opens up the friendship. How did I know this? Because I played well. Uh, it's the same fucking hotkeys. Why would you even do that? At least change your fucking hotkeys. And the fighting style is the same too. I'm gonna fight this fucking guy, right? Same shit. Exactly the same. No difference. Yeah, so I, I thought they were going to do something different with this. I know with the Elder Scrolls Online, it was a lot better. It was not like WoW. But it seems like this game is trying to be a WoW copycat while slapping on its own little bullshit. Look at this. The stars. Come on. Loot item. Copper. Fucking copper too? Copper, silver, gold? Are you kidding me? Look at this. Does that look familiar to you? A fucking hard stone you call a recall stone? Bitch, please. That's fucking WoW right there. What a fail right there, man. And uh, I'm going to show you something else that's going to blow your fucking mind. You can actually... Does that look familiar right there? You see what I'm pointing at my mouse? Let's get closer to it so you can see very clearly. That looks like a wow symbol. When you get a quest. Wow, let me talk to this motherfucker. My god, that looks familiar. Same shit. What the fuck? That looks exactly the fucking same. What's going on here, man? What's going on? But then there's another problem with this game, right? You see, this is my newbie character. I showed you to make a point. I've been playing for the entire beta, right? And uh, you can see right here, I have a fucking wolf. I have a wolf. <laughs> Look at that. And you can sprint on the wolf, which is pretty cool, actually. But I'm level 6, and I got a motherfucking wolf, alright? And you think that's bad? <laughs> it's worse than that, my friend. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Familiars. Look what I got. You can have more than one. You can actually, look at this. I have a fucking black wolf, right? I'm gonna summon this motherfucker. And now I have a, a fighter beside me. He's right here. You can't really see him because this fucking game is invisible. But now I'm a hunter. I could actually, I have attacks right here. I can make an attack. I can make an aggro. Why am I getting all these benefits? Why the fuck can I have a mount at level 6 that goes super fast? <laughs> Why am I able to fucking tame these mother, these, these animals, ruin fox, all these things? And how come I have a pet if I'm a guardian? So in other words, this is like a paladin class, right? I can be DPS, I could be defense, I could heal myself. Now I have a fucking pet too? What's the point of that? So these are huge problems in my world. You can see the taming thing. You right click, it has points. You just go behind them and then you jump on their back. All right, you select it, you jump on their back and then just, look at this. Try it. You can't tame this fucking guy. The Woodland Joey. I don't think you could tame him either. Yeah, you could. Your space, and then this menu comes up, right? Yeah, then you gotta press the button. Congratulations. 
This is a game of luck, to be honest. <sighs> so let's tame this fucking thing. Calm him down. Yeah. Come on, hurry up, you fucking. See, it's luck. The fail goes up without you doing anything. There, I tamed him. Yeah. So, I just got another pet. <laughs> another pet, man. And I'm level six. That's a huge flaw in my, my world. And you can even look, they have different speeds, attack speeds, defenses. That's OP as fuck. Okay, you shouldn't be giving noobs benefits. It's like they're, they're taking away the hard work. What happened to buying your goddamn pets? Fuck. Next up, the map. This is the main area, correct? Well, let's expand it a bit. Let's go to the uh, Hanings Crossing. Again. <laughs> the map. That's like nothing. Look at this. That's fuck all. That's fuck all as well. It seems like this whole game is like... Let's go to world map. That's the world map? What I'm seeing here is one area here, another right there, another area here, another area there, 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 there. This makes no fucking sense. I hope that this world is more than just middleless, if that's what they call it. Uh, because honestly, it cannot rival WoW in that case. And another problem with this game is that it's only humans. Why is there no race variation? I gotta be a fucking human man. Why can't I be something else? I'm allowed to kill orcs and all these other beasts, but I'm not allowed to play as one. That, that's great. So, look man, on the surface this game has sexy ass graphics. It's uh, more on the realistic side, there's a good character customization menu. It plays like WoW for the most part, but if, at the end of the day it kind of fails on delivering what it wants. It just does. Uh, it's just, it's it's too, they're giving noobs too many rewards for shit that they don't earn. You get mounts, it, and the combat's easy as fuck, look at this, man. And, and you know what's crazy? You could actually regenerate your HP. After this fight, watch, see my HP in the corner? It's gonna fucking regenerate so fast. Just wait and see, look at that. It's already bang bang, you know? So, this game is, is too, it's too easy, man, I'm sorry, and the quests are bullshit all the same shit, collect this, you know, <laughs> kill X monsters, it's just dumbed down shit, even at the higher levels, and the instances are fucking pathetic, real talk, so I, I could solo the whole game as a fucking guardian, okay, this game is not impressive to me, I think WoW is the better, see that, you see I just saw that Rune Wolf right there for a second, I'm telling you, this game's bugged, and I have a good PC, I have perfect specs, uh, GTX 950, FX 8320, uh, qua, um, 8 core, and I'm having all these problems. So, I don't recommend this game. I think WoW is a better choice. If you can't afford it, then just go a private server. You'll have more fun. There's more quests. There's more variety. In my opinion, it's the better experience. Look at this. This. Look at this fucking map, how small it is. That's the start area. Wow, man. Fucking pathetic. So, that's all I have to say about this game. I don't approve it. Sorry. And as a former WoW player, I used to play hundreds of hours of it. I just can't approve this. Shit. I, I approve of Elder Scrolls Online. At least that's unique in its own right. But not this game. Sorry, I just can't. So that's it. Talk to you guys next time.